It's the New England Patriots taking on the Miami Dolphins. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Miami Dolphins. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. It's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go. But they've come out playing good fundamental football. And that might carry them a long way. It's the first weekend of autumn. And the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. So here come the Patriots now on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. And what a performance in his last game. A couple of touchdown passes, that was positive. But more than two interceptions. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for. What did Vince Lombardi say, though? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. And that's what he hangs his hat on after last week's game. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Pretty much unreal, not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throw in the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make you a pretty good guarantee right now. <laughs> He's going to see yeah. a few more people in the box every time he lines up. Yeah, I don't think that the defense has any choice. They've got to stop him. Can't let a repeat performance like that. Agreed. Stevenson gets it again on second down. How about that run? Picks up a first down. Note the enthusiasm in my boys member. Last week, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. I think he's trying to get another one in fold. And you talked watching film a lot about his form and just hitting the hole, running north and south, as we like to say. I, I think he's been doing that a lot recently. Squaring those shoulders and getting downhill. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second and ten, Jones, he'll go underneath here to Stevenson. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And they'll use him out in the backfield, and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized. The other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Off. Stevenson. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there pick up the first down. Now Jones on first down. Over the middle, complete. That's Stevenson. A gain of six on the play, and it's a second down. This is Stevenson, and he works it to the 30 yard line here, right at the 30. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what we're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. 
And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On second down now, it's Taylor. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. J.J. Taylor, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point up and good by Folk. And it's now a 7-0 game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And frankly, this is the type of game that a great quarterback relishes because 0-2 on the road, everything's against him and his team. No one can expect them to win. Sometimes you band together real tight in that situation. And if he plays really well, they've got a chance to get that done. The numbers for him from a week ago, seven catches, 119 yards, and the score. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that he's off to a hot start here in this first month, and those are the kind of performances you expect to see going forward. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game and that is something we are seeing more and more in this league no question about it that wasn't the biggest of gains but it was enough to get him a and he's got it what a catch on the sideline plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay they want a challenge and they're going to get one get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. That's a defense you're more than zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Back to throw now on second and 10. That's Gallup on the slant. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing but 4 for 4 on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sidelines thinking themselves and expressing. Let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Zach Taylor, a new breed of head coach. He's going to go for it on fourth down. They'll look to throw again. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. Well, I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive, but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay right there, to stay even with their opponent, that they gas themselves out. You know, it's almost like horse racing. Sometimes you don't want to take your horse right to the front and let them do all the work, and then someone catch them at the end and pass them up. You want to make sure you moderate what you're doing along the way and then go for the big finish. On 
first down. Stevenson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Jones throw taken in by Adams. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. It's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Stevenson. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Now they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw. Jones. Complete. Smith has it. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. On second down. It's Stevenson. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins 21. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Now a run with Stevenson. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down.
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And they run with Stevenson. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Full connects on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped the 23-yard line. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Morrison into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well. Yeah, they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, He's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down, keep the sticks moving. It's a first down and more for Gordon. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. 
to throw. Morrison. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And a high throw there as this is knocked away. Down to the ground and incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And out of bounds. Sailed over. Looked like right near the pot. Uh, this one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has. And that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000-yard mark. I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. And this one's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Stevenson now on first and 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. And this one complete to Smith. A game six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and nine. Looking to throw. Jones. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. It'll go as a gain of four. And just like that, it's third down. Back to throw again. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he will have a Patriots first down the third down conversion. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 36. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, 
It puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Back to throw. Jones. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 16. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. They'll run on first down. Stevenson. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9. 111 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Now a running play here with Smith. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Didn't get the touchdown, but a big first down. And now they're six feet away from the end zone. And a little bit of momentum as well. To get down to the two-yard line, first and goal. Playbook's open now, right? What do you want to call? You want to call power? You want to call court? And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Dalton Keene. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Patriots continue to pull away here in this first half. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the route is on here in this first half. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taking it at about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Dolphins offense returning to the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Looking to throw, Morrison. And that is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and 10. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Morrison. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Fuller. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. No coach tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, 
it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to drop this one down to Gordon. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and eight. Again, he'll drop to throw. It's complete to Fuller. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Back to throw. Morrison. Touchdown. Dalton Schultz. Second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. He's got it to bring it back to 28-7 now. A 10-play drive that time. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. To the touchdown ready to kick away to Sanders. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. They'll run with Stevenson to get a drive. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. 127 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on first and 10. A final shot. Perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to play together a touchdown drive. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. On first down, Morris got a man complete. It's Fuller again. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. The midfield strike, they look to throw. Fuller brings it in over the middle. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. As you pointed out, so far he's got his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. But we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, 
they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now Gordon on first down. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. It ends up second and five. certainly doesn't fit into that plan. In my plan, I'm going to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Jones now. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. And caught by Henry. Game that got him down here, 
but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets them home. Certainly appears that the player of the defense may think that the passing game was going to be in the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get them over the goal line. Full Canals healing extra point, and that will increase their lead to 28. to the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Miami sets to take over. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed it, you're frustrated. Down on the scoreboard, I had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. Going to come away with nothing. Not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. And now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? There. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. take over first and ten so not quite a first and goal it's first and ten from the ten a throw in here to start the drive as they connect left side and he'll be corralled well around the 40 yard line a big play there for the Patriots ordinarily when you're backed up this deep most teams like to play it on the safe side but not these guys they took a big shot downfield and wound up hitting it for a big play. Back up into a corner, they come out swinging. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. Throwing Jones. challenge in this game and this continues as we see here coverage not been very good soft in spots there's an easy throw and catch for another first down jalen phillips the edge man on the tackle the run only got a yard here's second and nine back to throw jones Fresh 
set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time. And that's going to be A 
it's Stevenson, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 44, Jones. He finds his way incomplete. That's Adams. And he's got another first down as he's brought down. And it comes in 42. There's a beautiful throw there. He's been sensational the entire game. We're moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And when you come to mobile situations, Parker, I was expecting to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. And almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Third down, Stevenson, and he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because it's almost like no man's land. It might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. Possession is nine-tenths of the ball. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Don't go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. Stop it at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Brandon, five yards at now. Let's get back to the whole picture. If you're a back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders in the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Mewley here. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 13 yard line. Essentially the same play again. Continue to move the ball on the ground. Or we can decide to throw the ball. They're trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Javondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks him. He's at the 50. The 30. The 10. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six on the Dolphins touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will cut this lead down to 25. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. So here are the Patriots that take over. They went one, two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he'll work this forward for about second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw, Jones. And it's complete to Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First and 10, Taylor now. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front 
they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. Here's Jones on third down. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throw. football and I know my background says why do you need to do this just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win but as many people pointed out to me it's a video game man go ahead and put the numbers up not an issue exercise those fingers so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down on the handoff this is Taylor and he gets this to the 35 good for a gain of five that second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about. After. He rifles one that's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. And CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Looking to throw on second down. Morrison. And his throw is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're going to run. This is Gordon. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. Melbourne. First down, it's Taylor. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The backup Stidham, his first throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll run on first down. Taylor down to about the 22 here. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. 
They go to the ground again with Taylor. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Stidham to throw. And he's got it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Now he's home for the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. J.J. Taylor. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Patriots are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Fulk connects on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. On first and 10, Morrison. He'll buy some time right. He'll have a first down past the 40. He juked him. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. A big play there for the Dolphins. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. And over the middle, this is Parker. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Three yards remain for second down. Back to throw, Morrison. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 and the 19. Your guys to the line and get him set. That's checked down to Gordon. And all the way down inside the five to the four. With the score where it is, this was probably going to be four down territory if they didn't convert there. But what a nice job of working his way open, making sure he secured the catch, and setting up first and goal. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. One man in the backfield, that's Gordon, second and goal. Looking to throw, Morrison. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So take away the touchdown. It's kind of been one of those games for these guys. I think it's safe to say that that type of a play just added to their misery, right? They'll look to throw on third and goal. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And the Pats are going to take over once again. And they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. CD, this defense, man. 
At this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. They go play action now. Stidham. Rolling to his right. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. And that's complete to Adams. And he's got this down to the 35. In today's football, the receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. 